Ahoy hoy and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19 where I go over the best SCP memes that I can find on the r slash dank memes from site 19 subreddit. Let's get started. Objection! Wait, let's see if I can get in frame. Objection! Objection! I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I am completely unfamiliar with this uh, property, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney series, I think it's called, but um, <laughs> I have seen the memes and I am aware of it enough to know that there's an, uh, a meme of a guy pointing and saying objection really loudly. <laughs> so now you have it for your use at some future point. Wait, maybe if I did it for, yeah, if I did it from this hand, I think it's not the same, but I can get, get it in frame properly. I don't know. I saw this one, uh, and uh, I wanted to include it just because I thought, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, people liking my r slash uh, uh, dank memes from Site19 reviews uh, make me smile. Every time I see a meme about a, a meme about the memes being memed, yeah, something like that, uh, uh, I kind of just go, nice. Nice. Dank memes from Site19 users complaining there are no memeable SCPs other than the popular few. <laughs> when there are thousands of SCPs you could be doing instead. I, I get the uh, I get the joke there very much because there's a lot of complaining. I mean, it's the same thing I talk about on, SC on the SCP wiki itself for the writing uh, part of it. Like if you want to create something better or different than what's currently popular than you you know create it like you don't complain that no one else is great well you know a lot of people don't see themselves as being potential creators but that's just because most people don't realize that you just get better at something by starting at it and not being great at it in the first place i always say like if you want to write an scp write an scp if you think it should be like if you think the scp wiki should be a certain way join the scp wiki and vote on the things <laughs> don't just don't be a passive observer. Involve yourself. Same thing on here. If you want to create a meme outside of the popular few, do it. And then people will be like, well, then it won't get any upvotes, which is, you know, you gotta live with, gotta live with the world as it is, not the way you want it to be. Ah, that's an old man thing to say. <laughs> it's a real old man thing to say. <laughs> the minecraft meme i like this because i let's say i've never used the pumpkin head this way in minecraft but i know it can be used this way uh <laughs> and it actually works or at least it used to maybe it doesn't anymore maybe that's the joke i don't know but it works you can look at the endermen all you want and they don't scream and come after you or none of that stuff uh, i'm like Unlike the scramble gear, which it had to have been purposefully uh, poorly designed, right? It had to, well, no, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't make any sense. No, Director Emerson, you cannot kill all humanoid an anomalies. That's unethical. Haha, <laughs> incinerator, go burn. I really, the, the one thing I saw about this that I, I don't know if it was disappointing, but one thing I saw about this that, because, you know, I am, if nothing else, an egomaniac. Uh, because the whatever happened to what's happened to site 9, 13 not 19 whatever ha what happened to site 13 features uh J jeremiah samarian as a character objecting to the <laughs> destruction of the humanoid anomalies and then being executed for it i would have sworn that the person they used on the left would have like had the scarring or something like that but nope they just uh went with generic mcgenerison wait no generic mcgenerickson yeah that'll work yeah that's fine the SCP Wiki offers a creative writing community sandbox that started with entries like 173, Clef, 682, Bright, 049, and 096, but has room for so many different tales and themes to explore. There's really a lot you can choose from, and freedom to create whatever SCP 173, Clef, 682, Bright, 049, 096. Well, eh. Like, just because something is infinitely memeable doesn't mean that it necessarily is uh, better or even more popular than the other things. It depends on your definition of the word popular, though. Like, do you define it as something that people think is good or just a lot of people know about? I guess popular would be the things that people know about. 
<laughs> Literally the definition of popular is the ones that most people know about. But popular, that's my, but my point here is actually that popular does not equate to good, right? <laughs> like plenty of people went to go see the first few Transformer movies. That doesn't mean that they were good movies. They were just popular. But I mean like, yeah. The thing I think a lot of people miss out on when they complain about the love for the original stuff is that you can use that. If people are following, if people are looking for the popular stuff, give them what they want, but also give them what you want them to want. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Me. Quarantine boredom. Me. SCP-245 video game. Um, here's an interesting thing. I don't think this mentioned it or even had anything to do with it or even knew about it, but, uh, 245 video game is something I made. The SCP-245 is something I created. So, uh, yeah, since I saw this meme, this was definitely going in the review. Just love reminding people that, hey, by the way, I made that. It's not a particularly long video game though. Like maybe, I don't know, man, I know how to get through it. So it's like 45 minutes to an hour's worth of content. And that's because you have to play it like three times, I think three times to get, to get the full content playthrough. And that's assuming you don't screw up somewhere along the lines or not know that you can run or not know that you can uh, save your game at any point. Uh, so like people could play through it and they're like, oh, I hate having to go through that intro every time and something's messed up with this one quest and I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I've had to play through this same thing like five times. I'm like, why don't you just save the game at the at the beginning and play it from there? Like, do whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's just, it's not the, it's, I will say that, uh, to be fair, SB245 is not my best work. Uh, and there are places in it that uh, I see now, this was like five years ago. Like I, I see parts of it now though, where I'm like, that's just bad game design. <laughs> but uh, at the time it was the, my very first thing I'd ever created. Well, not very first thing I'd ever created, but the very first game I'd ever created. The only game I've ever created actually, I never followed up on it. I probably should. What do you guys think? Do you think an RPG Maker game? Um, I could, I still have RPG Maker, the more modern version. Um, you think an RPG Maker game would be uh, well received by the SCP community? Maybe put it up on Steam for like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Maybe, maybe one day. I'll take the lessons that I picked up from making the first game and go from there. Cranton, communism will win. I only featured this one because there was someone in the comments who said they picked the. Whoever you are, you're probably watching this video. <laughs> you said in the you said in the comments for this meme that you discovered that um, from my video that Scranton got or Scr Scranton Scantron uh, got banned from the SCP Wiki for making a political statement. No, and I never said that. Now, he did make political statements. I mean, that whole communism will win is is definitely changing his name to that was definitely a political statement. It was not ironic. It wasn't a joke. That is literally what he believes, but they believe. I think it's they. Um, but the important part is uh, uh, that the, no, they didn't get banned for making a political statement. They got banned because they were a dick. Polyon is an object class for my super dangerous SCP that can kill people if exactly five people drink milk at the same time when someone else has a specific piece of drink. Yeah. <laughs> gibberish, I, I, gibberish, gibberish, which we don't know. Apollyon is super keter. Apollyon means that it pr is permanently breaching, will permanently breach containment, and will cause mass disruption. Apollyon means the people who don't know about it don't know its object class. If you put it in a box, something, nothing happens, and suddenly the community is in shreds about every third <laughs> And every third post about SCP has an argument about whether or not its object class is correct. Its object class is Apollyon. I'll go one better. <laughs> Apollyon means you spent too long thinking about what object class to make your SCP. <laughs> That's it. Full stop. Moving on. When your brother is an undead mass murder, He's not undead. That's not technically correct. Mass murdering mindless monster. He's also not mindless. <laughs> mass mur... <laughs> Undead, mass murdering, mindless monster. How dare you incorrectly characterize Abel as undead and mindless? Mass murdering monster? Absolutely. But the fan, and also, 
What would Undead and Mindless have to do with making him disliked? <laughs> but the fandom likes more than you is the whole point of this. Which is, it's it's a uh, Kane being like, why does everyone like Cable so much? Just if he was Undead and Mindless, that wouldn't make him less likable. <laughs> Shout out to all my zombie bros out there. <laughs> but uh, mass murdering monster, nah, it's, that's, that's actually fair. I don't know if he's a mass murderer. He's more of a spree killer. Yeah, eh. what is the definition of mass murder? You know what? I'm not Googling that. I was about to Google that. Maybe I'm not going to Google that. Let's just leave that one alone. I don't need that in my search history. And with that, I bid you adieu. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell next to that. And if you have an idea for what I can do a You're Wrong About video on Thursday, wait. For what I can do, you're wrong about video on Thursday about. Feels like there's too many abouts in there. Oh well. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. If you'd really like to support this channel beyond that, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian like everybody here on the screen already has. And join people like Probably a Wizard and Definitely Donna Scientist. I'm starting to remember that name from memory. And uh, Manuel Noltorp, who have both pledged at $40. Thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.